It looks like our man Virgil Abloh is back, back in action. As you guys are aware, I think he took some time off late, late, recently, didn't he? Right for um, for health reasons, and it appears like he's back now. He's back in the building, ready to go. Uh, da, 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 let's see if I can find it. I think I saw a news somewhere. Yeah, there we go. So Virgil Abloh is back, as reported by WWD magazine. I think they were the first, or Virgil reported that he was taking a break in the first place. So let's quickly read his article, and then we can go from there. Ba, 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 ba. So here we go. So Virgil Abloh is back at action in Louis Vuitton in Paris. The designer has been absent from the fashion scene for a few months due to health considerations. Um, virtually, uh, uh, virtually absent from the fashion scene since early September, which. If you think about it, in in the Insta, especially in the, maybe not Instagram world, but in the fashion scene world, that's a long time, isn't it? There's so many marketing events. I think he missed in between a couple of fashion shows, loads of different appearances, probably a couple of DJ gigs in 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 the Instagram social media, um, just uh, scene influencer world uh, affairs. This probably seems like a lifetime, isn't it, that he's been away especially for the people that wanted to kind of do stuff with him and stuff. But in general, it's probably a good time to take a break if, if ever. You know, the, the seasons are cooling off a little bit more. No need to be outside, clear-minded, no alcohol, eating healthy, doing a bit of exercise, connecting back with your family and shit because I'm pretty sure he's got a couple of kids and a wife in it. So that would probably be nice. But yeah, it must be, it, it must be nice. It must be nice. And also it's good as well going forward because there's a lot of so many... You know, you, you, you watch the Steve McQueen documentary and your heart breaks, isn't it? For such a talented person to go through such turmoil and eventually, you know, take their own life in that in that way. But I think the fashion industry gets a lot of slack. I think they get a lot of, you know, criticism through what has happened, you know, sometimes in terms of, terms of the stuff that they do in the environment, whether it comes to diversity, representation. But I think the one thing the fashion industry has learned quite well to kind of respond to and learn the lessons of from previous years is that because especially because they've lost some we've lost some big talented designers right through you know fatigue through just you know drug abuse alcohol abuse politics in general i think now they've realized that you've lost too much high caliber talent to not repeat the mistakes of old and now i think more so especially if you're rich especially if you're working for the big brands I think they have got a responsibility now to make sure they're looking after their talents because at the end of the day, those brands only exist purely due to the talents that they kind of hire in, um, the cult and the cult following that they kind of uh, bring with them and hopefully that they can then translate that into products and sales, blah, 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 blah. So it's their prerogative to really look after him and say, hey, Virgil, you're, you're, being, you're doing too much now. You're going a bit crazy. You look, you look like shit, um, you know, whatever it may be. Take a break, go back home, relax, recover, and then come back on the other side, which is quite cool to see. But here's the article. Uh, the designer posted an elevator selfie in his personal Instagram account on midday on Tuesday. His face mostly obscured by the LV logo etched into the glass. He also turned up unannounced at Louis Vuitton store at the place Venadome over the weekend to inspect deliveries for his full collection. Uh, this included a hoodie puffer with channels in the shapes of the LV monogram, which he photographed on the floor between his Nike sneakers. Ablo surprised the fashion world when he revealed on September 8th that he would not be present at his off-white women's only ready-to-wear show in Paris Fashion Week later that month. And here's a picture of him there. He's got the new Supreme jacket on his own, which is nice. Um, Virgil shared today that he is shifting gears to a space, to a pace less than his usual constant work travel for a few months due to health cons considerations. The spokesman Ablo said in a statement, Virgil is designing the off-white show in Paris to replace his attendance with a creative new approach that will include crowd participation. He continues his work to closely with his team in Vuitton men's and off-white, as well as the brands he collaborates with around the world. In an interview at the same time, the Vogue, Vir Virgil stated that he was slowing down his work and travel schedule due to health concerns. The designer, who is also an in-demand DJ on international circuit, did not specify the medical issue, but I was, I was just tired, so I went to see a doctor. Ultimately, everything is fine, but the doctor told me, this pace, you've sort of, sort of pushed your body to fly all these miles, all these different projects. It's not good for your health. Uh, Vuitton executives expect him to be present at the 4 to 20 men show in Paris scheduled for Jan 14 to 19 so yeah a good, a good amount of rest actually a good break and probably recharge the batteries and you know there was a lot of criticism pointed towards Virgil I think the first couple of fashion shows especially just when he maybe not the first ones but yeah maybe it was the first ones the first Louis Vuitton one the second Louis Vuitton one especially with the stuff he's doing in uh, Off-White the collaboration with Ikea the Nike stuff it did seem as if 
from the outside looking in that the amount of even though it's a weird it's a weird position to be in right especially i get have a lot of sympathy for it especially if you're like a kanye these kind of ephemeral figures you've gotten so far in your life not listening to anyone and beating at your um moving to the beat of your own drum that suddenly when it comes to a point where your work is maybe not hitting the levels that it should do the standards or the quality and people start questioning what you're doing it's hard to listen to them because effectively you've got this far by not listening to them, right? By not listening to the crowd. So if you're a virgin and people are telling you to slow down or concentrate, not to sharp and dribble, but just to concentrate on certain on certain collections and to maybe stay, leave leave the DJing a little bit and stop collaborating as much, it's hard to listen to that because part of the reason why you've got the job at Louis Vuitton is because you collaborate with everyone under the sun. It's because you DJ all over the world. It's because you do all these random projects. That's why that's he's been able to build a massive archive or a massive body of work basically over a very short t- period of time so much so he's able to put a gallery exhibition together right which is nuts in it but over time he's been able to build such a mass of projects under his belt he's been able to then show off and say hey this is my portfolio look all these projects I've done that covers a huge breadth of of different um fucking disciplines so it's hard now to kind of figure in your head to kind of contemplate or come to realization that maybe you are um you are kind of diminishing the, res- the kind of quality levels of the other projects for the other things that you're doing. And maybe as well going forward, it's not, you know, again, it's, I think, um, I remember Dixon having the same kind of epiphany when he was voted, you know, number one DJ at Resident Advisor and all the bookings were kind of piling in. Seth Troxel went through the same thing. There has to reach a point where you start realizing that just because you got the gigs doesn't mean you should take them. There has to be a point where you're able to, and it's a weird thing on a come up. I think when you, when you're coming up, you have to say yes to everything everything you're yes 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 give me all the projects give me all the jobs i'll take everything on right because you just want to show and prove you want to uh you you want to put your name out there you want to display your talents blah but then it reaches a point where you get to a level where you have to start being selective about the work that you do because it then starts to affect the quality of the work you're actually doing because it's taken away from the time that you're doing it right and if it's if we equate it to an mma fighter they always say like the moment the mma fighters start to you know make albums start to appear on tmz start to do uh you know random podcast or just being on youtube that's essentially when their fight careers i'll take the dip because whilst you're fucking around right um with your friends in a bar somewhere recording a podcast your opponent is in a gym thinking about how to take your head off so you have to kind of have that in your mindset and again it's probably different about design and creative projects because part of the reason why people get into this sort of world is to become a multi-hyphenate right you want to be the person that is able to do this and that and that and that and that but I think similar to like a person like Mark Newson or these kind of people um, or Tom Dixon, you want to be able to maybe do specific projects spread out across a long period of time, maybe three or four spread out across 18 months and then keep your main thing going along as opposed to doing like 12 or 17 like Virgil's done. But again, he comes from a school of streetwear where you just do as much work as possible and you just keep it moving, right? That's the part of the lifestyle that you want to live, right? That's part of the Aaron Bondaroff turn your hobby into a job right turn your hobby into an occupation turn your hobby into a business um it's what you do anyway so why not it's what you would have done anyway for free why not continue doing it on a higher level and especially and if someone's emailing you to go play circle local and dc10 right and to design a collaboration with ikea and to make a nike collaboration and then to take a louis vuitton job you'll be dumb not to say yes to all of them right why would you say no um but i guess now going forward especially with your health being a major concern especially nowadays with mental health issues too being a big concern and just the pace of fashion um it's probably beneficial for your friends and your family that you are of sane mind right of some sort of clarity and able to kind of take that thing forward and again it just goes to show just how much pressure is at the top of those kind of trees it's not that's the thing that probably a lot of those fashion students that like, get on show studio and kind of you know diss people like virgil's or them sam samuel rosses and stuff don't really understand that once you reach those real high levels especially with sam ross with the amount of investment he's getting pushed into him with the amount of um production as the the up the uptake in production the fact that i'm now seeing a cold war everywhere the fact that essentially a cold war is turning into it feels like the uk version of armani right he's just going to be a it's going to turn over to an actual behemoth of a brand you can tell he's going to make a lot of money with that brand and probably go off and do other things but once you reach that kind of level that real sh- shit starts to really hit the fan it becomes real pressure it's not something you're doing in your little um warehouse apartment in the middle of i don't know you know what i mean um tottenham hell this becomes like a real big business where a lot of people are counting on you a lot of pressures on you you're having to pay employees the pressure is really on so you're, you 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 owe it to yourself to be as clear mind as possible to kind of achieve it and again only a certain amount of people can do that job it's a very specific job it's a very specific talent it's a very specific kind of work ethic as well 
um, flying all over the world. I can't imagine what kind of miles that guy has on his fucking um, MI, on his membership card, whatever. Maybe he must have like flies so insanely miles. Um, but yeah, it's flipping, it's flipping cool to see though going forward. And again, maybe as well, it might spur on a new kind of health and fitness, mental health kind of clarity thing, right? That might be a cool incentive we might see going forward. Workshop concerning that. Um, and re- maybe go, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that might be, but I, I, but I think most people are aware of just how much work, hard work it takes. I don't think this is a surprise. I um, think most people know that, you know, to, to operate at that le- high, high level, you have to really be, you know, working, you know, ungodly amount of hours. And now we've seen how much it actually takes. So yeah, Virgil's back in action. So interesting to see what happens next, what, how the pace of his collaboration goes, the pace of his uploads on his social media account, and just generally how he carries himself going forward. It's interesting to see how that, how that kind of, you know, re- you know, evolves over time. Let's see as that kind of progresses. But yeah, um, welcome back to the scene, I guess. And hopefully with the fashion scene of rule takes that as a cue and starts to apply that to their other designers, to their fashion teams, and also starts to um, implement these kind of um, extended periods of breaks or kind of a bit of time away from the fashion scene just to kind of collect your thoughts. Because I know a lot of fashion people go away in August, you know, to kind of, you know, exotic locations to kind of unwind, but actual times where you can kind of go away and kind of take a break away from the fucking hectic schedule, especially not even just for the big um, creative directors or the big marquee names in the companies, even the people that are just working in the company day to day probably deserve some level of break because I can only imagine what it's like working in a fashion house during fucking show season, right? Um, it must be just insane amount of hours you're putting in weekly. And of course, because you love it, you don't really notice the amount of times you're working, but it does require some level of... um. Uh, some level of balance, I think, to kind of get it right. But yeah, 